can get started. I think we, we have a few people still trickling in, but um, no worries because this webinar will be recorded. Thank you again, as I just mentioned, for joining us today. My name is Jenna Farber and I'm with Emerging Destinations. We represent cool companies in cool places. Today I'm being joined by Omar, who is the sales executive um, at Hotel Island, which is the newest addition to our Icelandic portfolio. Um, Hotel Island is located in Reykjavik. And today, Omar is going to be giving you an overview of the hotel and different experiences that your clients can enjoy from the hotel. So um, before we get started on that, though, I'm going to take a quick minute to introduce our portfolio to you. Of course, we have an extensive portfolio in South America, the Americas, and Africa. But since today we're talking about Iceland, I'm going to just introduce our European portfolio. So in Europe, we have Paxmore, who is a DMC covers all things Greece, um, Hotel Island, which is of course the hotel that in which we're talking about today, Iceland Pro Cruises, who offers circumnavigations around Iceland. In addition, we also have an itinerary that cruises to Greenland as well. And last but not least, Iceland Pro Travel, who is our DMC in Iceland, so they can handle all things on the ground in Iceland. Um, if you have any questions about any of the um, clients that you see on your screen there, please feel free to reach out to me. My email address is at the bottom there and I can help you with anything that you might need, any digital information, etc. I'm more than happy to assist. Uh, before we get started today, I'm going to just give a couple housekeeping notes. So this webinar will be recorded. So if you do need to step away or if you answer a call, etc., cetera, um, I will be sending it out to everybody either tomorrow, if not for sure by Monday. So you can anticipate a follow-up for me with the recording as well as all the answers to the any webinar questions that we don't get to today. Um, and last but not least, talking about the questions, please feel free to type through any that you have uh, come up during Omar's presentation. Any comments, anything that you would uh, like him to answer about Hotel Island, we will be more than happy to get to those at the end of the webinar, um, time permitting, of course. So on that note, I am going to hand things over to Omar. Yes, thank you, Jenna, for this introduction of uh, us, my, as she said, my name is Omar and we are here to give you a, a quick tour of our uh, beautiful Hotel Eastland in Reykjavik. So uh, let's uh, begin. Um, so Hotel Eastland, uh, it's located in uh, the Reykjavik's business district. <clears throat> and this is a spa and wellness hotel on seventh floor with 128 rooms. Now the history of the building, it dates uh, back to the 1960s uh, because originally the building was designed in a Scandinavian style and we also tried to uh, maintain that style even after renovation. The main goal during the renovation was to conserve the parts, uh, as I said, and to enrich it with modernist elements. The, yes, the close distance to the center of Reykjavik will ensure a comfortable stay for the guests. Uh, the distance to the city center is walkable. This is only 1.7 kilometers, and uh, there is uh, one of the biggest uh, pros of staying in this district is that when you are in the absolute heart of the city, there comes this, especially on weekends, this enormous noise from the clubs. So this is a common uh, uh, issue for the city center hotels that the guests, they maybe don't sleep too uh, well, but here you are in, you are close to the center, but still you can maintain a good quality sleep. Now, also a big uh, uh, pro for this hotel is that uh, when you are located in this area, you have usually and almost always a lot of free uh, parking available, which can also be difficult the closer you go to the city center. Now, uh, given the size of the hotel and uh, 
the popularity, we have pickup point for tours right in front of the building, which is very uh, convenient for our guests. And this is also an easy departure, both in and out of the city, if you're going to any sightseeing tours. Now our rooms, all of our rooms, they have a private bathroom with either a shower or a bathtub. And this, they also have wireless internet access, towels and high quality bed linen. We have a few categories. We will begin to introduce you to the standard double and standard twin rooms. Now we have 80 of those rooms with the average size of 20 to 25 square meters. The maximum occupancy is two persons in a double bed configuration or two times single bed configuration. All of the rooms, as you can probably see on the slide, they have brand new smart TV, which is connected to the internet, coffee and tea set, hair dryer, and self-stocking mini fridge. Now, we also do have the very popular superior rooms that can either be as a double-double or a double twin. Now we have 42 of those rooms with the average size of 30 to 40 square meter with the maximum occupancy of four. As I said, also you can choose from one times double or two times single bed versus two times double bed. Now also they come with the same uh, amenities as the other room and as you can see on the slide. These are by far our most popular rooms because they are very uh, big in comparison with other hotel rooms and extremely spacious. Now, our, then we have the superior family spacious rooms. Um, we have three of those and they are quite big, so very suitable for family. 50 square meter with the maximum occupancy of six. We have the setup as two times double and one times king. Then we have the top floor, the seventh floor, which has six suites. And the average size of them is 30 square meters with the maximum occupancy of two with one king bed. What you can see on the slide, for example, is uh, our, uh, like we call a panoramic window suite. This is like a top to floor window. You can, a very, you can enjoy a very good view over the city and even this uh, past year, we could even see the erupting volcano right outside it, were quite magnificent. And uh, these uh, rooms all come with the same amenities, but with an extra, of course, high pressure steam coffee machine and bathrobe, slippers and cosmetics. We have, of course, we have also balcony suites. On each corner, we have a balcony suite. And uh, they can either enjoy a magnificent view over the Snipers Peninsula, which is a part of the West Coast, and the uh, Mount Essia, which is our city mountain, or a city view with also the view of the Reykjanes Peninsula. This is quite important also. Now, Hekla Restaurant, that is the name of our amazing restaurant and very popular restaurant. This is a modern uh, restaurant and bar which we operate uh, in front of the lobby on the same floor. And we are very flexible to approach the guests of offering options of vegetarian or vegan meals and the adoption of ingredients on requests. Now, Given the fact that we are operated 
uh, with the owner as a huge travel agency. We are also very skilled, also very skilled and experienced when it comes to group menus. If you are traveling with a group, whatever the size, we can easily fit the need. And the kitchen is very confident in doing so. This is open for lunch from 11.30 to 2, and we serve evening menu after 6 to 9 o'clock. We are very proud of our breakfast buffet, which we serve from 6.30 to 10 a.m. And we prepare the breakfast for our guests from the highest quality ingredients available at any given moment. The buffet, it includes a variety of products from which you can compose on your own breakfast. And for organized groups and on special requests, we do offer the option of early breakfast to go. You, uh, how to choose your activities during your stay in Iceland? This is always a good question and this uh, obviously has to be taken into consideration on the length of your stay. So it's uh, remarkable how much you can do in a short period of time, but uh, to make it short, if you are only this interested in seeing culture and city life, you can enjoy a long weekend in Reykjavik. Should you decide to see more of the nature, with all the beaches and the mountains and the valleys and the, and uh, and all that, we would recommend uh, at least maybe a week stay. Um, yes. How you would choose your activities also following this? So we would uh, have uh, obviously some recommendations. The most popular option would be the Golden Circle Tool, which is a combination of three major attractions, which is the National Park, uh, the Geysers Hot Spring and Golden Waterfalls. Now, you are also just short distance on the Reykjanes Peninsula, where you can walk the bridge between continents and obviously the Blue Lagoon, which is one of the seven wonders of the world, at least a few years ago, was voted as that. Now, for a long day tour, you would choose the South Coast Tour, which is at least 10 to 12 hours, but very much for the eye, because you would enjoy the black sand beaches, the diamond beaches, which we call, which has all the ice cubes, and the amazing waterfalls, which you can even walk behind of. Now, the Snæfellsnes Peninsula is also a very beautiful national park, which is definitely worth a visit. Uh, and then you have also whale watching and Northern Lights Tour. Northern Lights Tour, obviously, only during winter time. Whale watching can be enjoyed in both seasons, but a little bit more enjoyable during summer. Another activity, let's say you have a rainy day or you want to just relax and unwind after a long day tour. We do pride ourselves with our brand new silver spa, which we call our facilities downstairs. Now, this has an Aurora Borealis theme, as you can see in the lightning theme in the floor. And this, this you can enjoy a floating pool, hot or cold tub, sauna, and you can order drinks. You relax with a candlelight in your bathrobe and even can order a snack menu from the Silver Spa menu. We also, if you want to have a little bit uh, uh, more than snacks, we do also have the spa lounge, which you can enjoy either before or after visiting the pool area. This is also nice for relaxing, chatting, and enjoy a drink, or you can even have a private dinner. We are quite flexible when it comes to the silver lounge area. Now, if you're not tired and you want to maybe work out a little bit, we have a state-of-the-art gym, 
brand new downstairs close to the spa. And uh, this is also usable for our guests uh, during the spa opening hours. We also have a small uh, healthy bar at Silver Spa, which sells only organic and sugar-free and healthy products, which should fit quite well to the concept of wellness and spa. And uh, you could always get more information at the recep spa reception for those products that we have on every single day basis. Room service has been put on another level at Hotel Island because it has never been easier to order things to your room. There is no need to uh, go through brochure. You simply take up your phone and you scan the tag and up comes the menu. You place the order and a little while later, the waiter comes up with your service. Couldn't be easier. We also do have a concierge desk on the front desk. So basically whatever you need in regards to activities, adventures, dining, transferring, you can contact the concierge desk 24 hours. As a spa and wellness hotel, we do love special requests. There is no request that is beyond our reach and we love the challenge. So if your future guests or our uh, have, might have any uh, special needs, always ask because usually we can't deliver. Uh, we came into this point a little bit earlier, but I'm going to go deeper to this. But we also use this lounge area, especially this part of it, uh, as for special requests. You can have a private meeting, a cocktail meeting, or whatever you desire. At least this is possible for renting as a private. And please contact us if you have any questions that we would be happy to answer. You can see the contact details on this slide. And I surely hope that this was uh, educational for you. And we are looking forward to welcoming you in the future. Thank you so much. All oh, right. Thanks so much for that presentation, Omar. That's fantastic. A great introduction to Hotel Island, located in Reykjavik. Um, just a quick housekeeping note for everybody attending. Um, this webinar will be recorded, so if you do have to step away or um, take off early, please don't worry. I will be sending the recording out to everybody either later this week or next week. And as always, all of our previously recorded webinars will be available on our Emerging Destinations YouTube channel and on our Emerging Destinations website. So um, we will do a quick Q&A now. Um, we will try to get to as many of the questions as we can. But if you do have a question, uh, please feel free to type it through. And if we don't answer it today, I will make sure that we uh, get Omar to answer it for you in our webinar follow-up. So on that note, um, Omar, I know that a lot of the people uh, tuning in today are familiar with our other ISAN products, ISAN Pro Cruises and ISAN Pro Travel. Um, can you just explain a little bit about when Hotel Island became part of the ISAN Pro Group? Well, Hotel Island became part of the Island Pro Travel Group in the beginning of this year. Um, uh, though we didn't open up in May, we did have to give ourselves a couple of months for uh, refurbishing and making everything ready to fit the needs and the profile of the Eastern Pro Travel Group. And uh, yes, so it's been almost a year and it's been doing just quite fantastic. And prior to um, the acquiring by ISAN Pro Group, was it also called Hotel Island? 
the name Hotel Island is quite uh, powerful and well known. This is probably the most iconic Icelandic hotel name that all the locals are familiar with. Um, hotel Island uh, has uh, a few decades history and uh, so that is one of the biggest reason that the decision was made to have the name intact is because of the uh, fact that it's simply a very powerful uh, name here in the Icelandic industry. Perfect. Thank you for that. Um, I know I and I hate to ask this question because I know that we're all burning out from listening to uh, COVID entry protocols, etc. But is there anything new um, in regards to um, entry protocols when coming into Iceland? What we always do advise to all of our guests and our uh, uh, our partners that because as in most other countries, the regulations, they do change and they do change quite fast and quick. So we do advise to go to covid.is and just see the latest update. I think the latest update was on 10th of December, but you can see even before that, that was like three weeks and they do it. Uh, they, it, it's just, it's, it's hard to say. It's just the, the main key is to stay online and stay focused on the newest updates. Yeah, and I, on that note as well, I will include that link in the webinar follow-up. So if anybody does want to take a look at any, um, in detail of the COVID entry protocols into Iceland, you can do so. Um, mm -hmm. We'll just ask a couple more questions here before we finish off for today. Um, I know you had mentioned a few different activities, uh, day trips, et cetera, that can be done from the hotel. Um, how can uh, people book these excursions? Can they do that through you? And how far in advance would you recommend booking them? We have we have uh, we have mainly two options. We do have on our website we do have a link to our tour desk that we design for our guests, and there we put the most popular tours uh, on any given moment, whether it's a winter activity or a summer, it's of course uh, season related. So either the guest is browsing through that button and booking through uh, with himself, or always, which is also very popular, if you wanna get to know a little bit more, then you come to the front desk and the concierge area and you'll be taken care of from A to Z. Oh, that's great. Thanks. Thank you for that. Um, I know that you mentioned this earlier in your presentation, but can you just uh, speak a bit more about the um, recommended time of stay at the Hotel Island? Um, so, of course, this is, this is individual, as most of you know, but uh, uh, to answer this question quickly, uh, if you are like I said, if you are coming here and try to stay a minimum stay, I would probably never stay less than three days, but that of course limits uh, a lot what you can do and see. So if you would take a long weekend, as it is called in, uh, in most countries, a three day trip, then you are enjoying Reykjavik and the very close area to Reykjavik, maximum with the Golden Circle, because that's only an hour away. However, if you stay like most of the, uh, uh, for example, German clientele, they usually stay at least seven days and even during winter time. And then you have the option of covering almost everything, at least 90% of what the country has to offer. Because the good fact about the location of Reykjavik is the fact that you are only hours away and even the shortest, 40 minutes away from a natural wonder to see. Right, yeah. And just on that note as well, I will mention that because of um, Hotel Isla now being part of the uh, ISAM Pro Group, we can also help arrange um, 
any additional stay in in Iceland, whether it be a self drive, etc. We can organize that through Iceland Pro Travel, or if your client does want to do a cruise, we can also do that with Iceland Pro Cruises. So Hotel Island really fits in nicely to our portfolio because it gives your clients a place to stay while they are in Reykjavik, and if they are looking for an experience where they stay uh, put in Reykjavik and do day trips, etc., we can help organize that. So they really fit really nicely in with our portfolio. Um, we will just take one. Oh, sorry. No, you're absolutely correct. That was what I was going to say. Uh, and then uh, we will just do one more question just uh, for time's sake here. Um, I know that you spoke a little bit again at the beginning of your presentation about the benefits of the location. I just know that some people are, um, you know, worried that their clients want to be right in downtown Reykjavik so that they can walk out and be on the street. And I know you spoke a bit about this, but can you just um, reiterate the, the benefits of the location of Hotel Island? Well, I think it's uh, a fair to say that though we're not in the absolute heart of the city, we would still be considered to be almost a city center hotel because the distance from here to the city center is very short. This uh, is easily walking distance, but having said that, the bus and the noise that inevitably come with every city center in major city, uh, it gives you a poor quality of sleep. Uh, this I can even vouch because I live in the absolute heart of the city. Yeah. But when you come just even just five minutes driving from the city center, which is this location, you have absolute silence and that is probably what i have the uh, uh, experience of working both on a city center hotel and not and 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 this the, yeah this i would say that this is a huge asset because you have the option as i said five minutes to go to all the uh, bus and the and the and the fun and the noise but you can come home and relax uh, when you are through and done with that. And also, yeah. also the fact that there is a very limited parking in the city center, this is not an issue here. Right, which is great if you're self-driving or as you had mentioned as well, for it's you have a great location for tour pickups. It's very easy, it's not stressful. You're not trying to run into a vehicle while there's a, a lineup of cars behind etc so and as yeah. as omar mentioned i mean you're only a five minute drive or a 20 minute walk outside of that core area so it's it's very reasonable it's not a far distance by any means and in fact i know a lot of people enjoy that walk because you get to see a um a few extra things around reykjavik instead of just staying in that one area so um on that note, though, I will uh, will tie things up here for today. Uh, you will be hearing more from Hotel Island in the new year, so please stay tuned for that. But thank you, Omar, for joining us. It was a pleasure to have you and to introduce Hotel Island to the travel trade officially as part of Iceland Pro Group. Well, thank you, Jenna, as well. It was a pleasure.